How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be finishing up uh, the work on our the very first uh, night or not nights, geez, 2019 uh, Ford Ranger Raptor, and this is a lifted V8 edition. Uh, so yeah, here we go right now. I'll take you guys a quick walkthrough for those of you who haven't seen it yet. I did finish the suspension. Um, I still haven't done exhaust or fuel, but we'll do exhaust and fuel when we do the motor here. Keep walking around, and then it's got, this one has a V8 in it. Let me just open the door, show you the inside. It's right-hand drive. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we got to it. Um, and probably one of the next videos, we're going to be working on this Raptor here. Uh, this Ranger Raptor. This is a V6 Ranger Raptor. Um, non-lifted edition. Uh, and the way you know it's lifted is the name of it. So this one says lifted. That one doesn't say lifted, so obviously. Uh, all right, now let's move this over here. Now we got that up. Uh, it's time to pull the engine. So we're going to be rebuilding this entire V8, and we're going to be trying to pump as much power into it as we possibly can. So we're going to be switching uh, from all the stock parts that it has in it right now, and we're going to be moving it all over to performance parts. I'm assuming we'll be making around 700 horsepower when we're done. At least somewhere close to that. All right, let's sign up on here. And as you guys can see, like it has a lift kit and everything on it. Like you can actually see a lift kit, uh, which was one of the, I think it was a fender mod or a fender piece we put on. It gave it uh, actual lift kit suspension pieces, which is really, really neat. All right, so there we go. That's taken apart. Wait, why is it not letting me pull it out yet? Oh, I have to drop it down. What am I doing? It is a little glitch, so it'll go into the floor right when you put it down. You just have to uh, move it to the entrance, then move it back, and it'll be fine. All right, there we go. She is clear and ready to go. I'll get the battery charging, so while we're building it, the battery can charge up. Yes, sir. And... Throw this bad boy on there. So this engine is fairly complete. It looks like it's missing one head, um, one the top at the top of a head, and then it's missing its intake, which is not, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna tear it down here. Let me just repair all that. There we go. I'm gonna tear it down here real quick, and I'll see you guys back here once this thing is ready to go, and we got a bare engine block. All right. So I got pretty much all the parts, almost all the parts bought, and I got all the stuff repaired that we need to repair. So I think we're good to go now, guys. Let me see. Yeah, I got I got a lot of parts. I probably bought 80% of the parts that we're gonna need for this build. Um, I don't think I have a power steering pump. Yeah, I, I still need a still need an aftermarket one of those, but it should be fine. Wow, I have a I have a lot of just regular pistons sitting around. Don't know why that is a thing, but I guess I was thinking about doing a. Uh, a uh, inventory dump here soon guys just like going through and anything that's not a uh, plus whatever quality item or anything that like I have literally no use for I'll probably never use I'll probably just gonna sell it all um, just to clear up some space in the uh, in the warehouse because it is cramped right now there we go so let me get all those in Oh, well, thought I had an extra crankshaft bearing. Oops. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I thought I had extra crankshaft bearings. I thought I had two extra, so I bought one, I think. It looks like I only had one extra. All right, there we go. And this is probably one of the uh, the motors I've done the most out of anything. It's just this V8. Um, this is a V8 4x4, so it's a little bit different on the transmission side. It has a transfer case and an extra drive shaft moving the front wheels. Um, but other than that, this is I've done this one so many times. I was able just to sit in the menu really quick and almost purchase everything I need. There we go. As you guys will see here in a second, I won't have to visit the uh, shop very often maybe once or twice just for a couple things I might have forgotten clutch pressure plate 
I wonder if they make this... I don't know if they make the Ram Rangers... Uh, Ram Rangers. Jeez, what am I saying? I don't know if they make the Ford uh, Ranger Raptors in the United States. I think I said this in the last video, but I thought it was like an Australian thing. But I'm not sure. Let's get this head going. Alrighty. Oh, I did forget to... I forgot to buy something. I already know. Yeah, manifold and cam gears. Yep, I saw those and I was like, oh, there's strike one for me. There's our, okay. Uh, oh, and fuel rail DIs. Okay. So let's get, um, let's get cam gears first. This should be the, the smart thing to get first. And then we can get some fuel parts, get the DI rails, which the DI rails are some of the most expensive rails you could possibly buy. There we go. The manifold for the V8. Right here, two of those. And well, there's one more thing I was needing. Oh yeah, the power steering pump. All right, there is mostly everything. I already got our timing belts. Uh, I think we saved the front cover, so I didn't buy one of those. Let's hope we got one of those. Alright, belt one is in. Uh, well, let me snap to the top up here. There we go. There's all of our fuel parts. I guess I didn't get a fuel filter either. Wasn't as perfect as I thought it was. Alright, there we go. Wait a second. There it is. And I think I have... Oh, I only bought two accidentally. I think I have a bunch of extra camshafts, but I don't know what they're all from. It's uh, just a little weird. Okay get this and then main shop and then we need two more cam gears I bought two instead of four there we go and get the belts on and then the cover and then this should let us put our engine head covers on and we should be almost ready oh so we need head cover C left that was one I think I bought a and B which were wrong I think since this is the 4x4, they switch it up on you. Uh, I'll just do V8 head cover. Yeah, we need to see. Interesting. Alright, now that that's on, we can get our ignition coils in. I already got the quail covers, so good on that end. All right, there we go. And then I've decided I'm probably not going to take this truck on the, uh, what do you call it, on the drag strip just because it has off-roading wheels, so it's going to do nothing but skid, and I'm not sure how the lift kit will react um, with it being like lifted at all. I'm not sure if it'll give the truck more sway or what's going to happen. Um, so we're only going to take this on my off-roading course, uh, just for now. Maybe if I switch it out with some slicks later, or maybe if we turn that other, the shorter Ranger, into something else, we can maybe do that. But for right now, I'm probably just going to stick to off-roading this one. Okay, so we're missing a pulley, and that should be it. And ta-da! There is the V8 4x4 motor ready to go. Install this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this thing's going to be crazy powerful. So we just got to connect it up and exhaust and we should be good. Okay. 
So we need ABS module. I wonder if the car would let you drive without the module. Okay. Pop that out of there. Radiator A, fan housing B. And then we'll also get our ABS module. Pretty quick and painless right there. Alrighty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Almost forgot one thing. You gotta get the oil in there. Alright. Now we can get this thing in the air, get the transmission hooked up, and we will be super, super close to finishing here. Uh, we'll just do stock gearbox for now because I'm probably not going to be revving it up too high yet. Alright, exhaust pipe B for V8. Let's see. Pipe B, V8. Sweet, we got it. Usually most of these exhaust pipes right off don't usually have anything. Oh, we forgot our fuel filter too. Alright, we don't have our transfer case. And we don't have that either, really. So drive shaft E and transfer case. And then shaft E. There it is. We need two catalytic converters, a middle muffler. All right. Connect this guy up. So two catalytic converters, two middle mufflers, and rear muffler V8. All right. We got this. So from back, uh, front to back, we got this with the middles. We got the rear V8. Then we'll grab one of these bad boys. There we go. We got our fuel tank. All right. We'll just throw these in the scrap pile. And these ones should be good. All right, and then our last part here, and we are officially done. Um, I think I did interior too already, so we're good. 99%, what am I missing? Oh yeah, the fuel filter. And a rubber bushing. I think I have an idea on where both of those spots are. Yep. All right, one rubber bushing right here. All right, and then our fuel filter, which I think I, I bought already. I just forgot to put it in. Yes, there we go. Awesome, and now I should probably put some, I should probably put some plates on there, don't you think? Yeah, most likely. Let's do this. Plate. Uh, do we have a Mexico plate? We do. These are some really, really good looking plates. I don't know why. I just thought Mexico plates might look cool. And these ones look fantastic. Alright, there we go. Is that it? 96. What am I missing still? Oh, engine cover. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, did we not buy one? Okay. Let's see. Ranger. And engine cover. Oh, that's cool. It adds in an air intake, a couple fuel, or a couple, like, power, like, windshield wiper fluid, power steering. Adds in all of those little reservoirs. Get our 
ECU and everything tucked right here. That's... I wish I could jump up and see in there, but that is, uh, that's really cool. There we go. This thing is done, and it is valued now at oh, $200,000 is what this thing is valued at now that we're finished. Let's hop in it real quick. Other side. Oh, yeah. Turns right over. And now it is time to take this uh, lifted on our... Uh, I don't want to do that one. Where's the off-road track? Yeah, I'll do this one. I was gonna take it on the workshop one I have. It's like, it's like a rally track, um, off-roading, but it's really, 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 really long. So I was like, eh, probably shouldn't do that. All righty, let's see what she can put down. Yes, this is the classic off-road track I'm used to. All right. Oh yeah, the suspension on this thing is so good. Look how, do you see how far that wheel travel is on the front, on the fronts at least? That is impressive. Oh yeah, this thing has so much power. All right, let's take it through some bumps and around a corner. Oh. -ho -ho. Oh, okay, that was close. Oh yeah, this I think this lifted suspension is probably the best suspension I've seen on a truck we've done yet. And this is a this is a mod too. This isn't uh this isn't a uh, actual truck done by them. This is a mod. Wow, it actually it does it does so well. I'm probably gonna have to crown this one our best truck yet for off-roading at least the, the lifted edition it's pretty close to the best one yet oh it does so well and with the amount of horsepower that we put in it with this v8 oh that reminds me we have to go test the uh we have to go test the horsepower on this but yeah that'll take our that definitely take our top spot for the best off-roader yet on a truck I think the last one was maybe the power wagon the 2017 ram power wagon i think that was the last one that was doing the best all right there you go. yeah dino and say so this one right here we'll probably do something a little bit different because this is a v6 and it's not lifted so we might not might not want to do some anything to do with off-roading but all right so 414 i think we're going to be pushing close to seven something Maybe uh, 745 tops. Oh my gosh, 797 horsepower. I wonder if there's anything we could put in this to get that extra three horsepower. Any even a one percent item would would do it. Um, I don't think there's a single part I missed is the issue. So I think this might be the most we can get out of this truck so far but wow this thing is a beauty it's actually it's oh it's one of my one of my most favorite trucks right now uh the look it just looks so weird but it's so interesting and cool uh leave a comment down below and let me know what do you guys think of the ford ranger raptor um i'm not sure if this is the first year they've done it or the second i have no idea how if the rangers had raptor editions before but yes the svt um edition and that's what makes it the raptor uh with all the decals and everything but there we go guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video so far um i really enjoyed building this because it's a very very cool looking truck um if you'd liked it leave a like down below uh subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet and hopefully i will see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video